So I haven't filmed a video in ages and I wanted to film something today but I couldn't get all my lights out and everything and put my camera on the tripod and all that jazz because I've got some construction going on in one of the rooms downstairs and it was just too noisy and hard to get to my lighting. So in this video I am going to talk to you a little bit about um, my nail polish collection. I have got a very big collection, I'm very very into nail polish, it's kind of one of my guilty pleasures, I constantly buy nail polish, I never think you can have enough nail polish. I've narrowed it down today and kind of had a little bit of a sort out but I've still got a lot of nail polish and I don't wear most of the ones I've got but I do give them away a lot. My sisters kind of come and raid my collection when they're here and I give them away to kind of friends and that kind of thing. So I try my best to not um, keep too many if I know I'm not going to wear them but I have got quite a few so I'm going to show you kind of my collection how I store it and if you've got any suggestions on better storage ideas then definitely let me know and yeah I won't bore you with this intro any longer I'll let you get on and see my nail polish collection so this is where the fun begins and I have them all stored in this drawer. I've picked the last drawer because they were getting really heavy and I didn't want to kind of make the wood bow but I'll kind of talk you through what I've got. So these are all my Essie nail polishes over here. We've got um, No More Film which is this lovely kind of dark blue shade. Then what are these ones? This one is Blue Rhapsody and this one is uh, Saint Tropez. Then I've got Mint Candy Apple and Cute as a Button. Cute as a Button is what's on my nails right now. Then two of my kind of favourite purples, um, Bahama Mama and what's this one? Flash of Grenadine. Lovely, lovely shade that one. Then I've got these lovely kind of, um, this pale pink one's called We're In It Together and this one's Penny Talk. This one is Exotic Lyris. A decadent Dish, which is a lovely kind of wintry shade. I couldn't really wear that now. Uh, my all-time favourite Essie one, I think, is probably Jam and Jelly. I love this shade. Trophy Wife, which is this kind of lovely greeny, tealy one. Sugar Daddy, which is just kind of nice nude nails. And that, is, oh no, that's not it. Then I've also got, um, what is this one called? I can't see. Big Spender, which is a lovely kind of purple colour, and Fiji. So that's kind of all my Essies. Then it moves on to Barry. Oh, sorry, I've got a few more actually. What am I talking about? I've also got Lovey Dovey, which is this kind of bright, bright pink, which is lovely. And um, Peach Deckery, which I haven't worn yet. I'm saving that for summer kind of got Barry M so I've got the kind of traditional um, Barry M's which are these ones I think this one's called strawberry and then some of the other formulas like the gel formula the matte formula um, if I had to pick my favorite Barry M's I like the traditional kind of raspberry red shade and I also really like their mint colour. It's very similar to Mint Candy Apple from Essie. So they're kind of all my Barry M's. Then over here I have got some Nails Ink, which I always get when they come with Glamour magazine. I love that Kate Spade red one. I think that's really, really beautiful. So they're kind of my um, Nails Ink little collection. These were from a little kit I got in TK Maxx. Then over here is where I kind of keep my kind of um, top coats and that kind of thing mainly. So this is my favourite base coat, the Sally Hansen Instagrip. A couple of sinful colours, this kind of beautiful blue one, I got that from the pound shop, I think that one's called Hot Spot. This one's beautiful, this kind of green one, this is called Rise and Shine, it's kind of a nice bright. Uh, my favourite Christmas polish, which is Orly's Star Spangled. You, I don't know how well the camera will pick up on it, but it's got kind of lots of little red shimmer in it, which is really adorable. A glitter from Sinful Colours, which is really nice. Some kind of drying um, stuff from Sally Hansen, I don't love that. Some more um, Sinful Colours, this kind of nice bright pink. So they're just kind of random ones, you know, like little, this one from mine is right here, a um, couple of the um, Maybelline Colour Rama ones are here. I always thought they were called Colour Drama, but that one, and then this pretty little Rimmel Mint one as well, which is called um, Pear Drop. Then here I've got some Revlon ones, and these are all um, the kind of, I like to store them in terms of brands, so you'll see that's kind of my method, but it does get a little bit messy. So over here we've got Cloud, Cherries in the Snow, uh, Jelly, is that Jelly Bean or Jelly? Jelly, that one's called. Fairly Peach, every time I wear this in a video people ask me what I'm wearing, and it's just this kind of milky nude, but for some reason it seems to be very um, popular. This one, I've got no idea what the name of the shade of this, it's just a random polish. 
then um, Revlon Red, which is pretty. Oh no, it's called yeah Revlon Red. Sorry, <laughs> and um, Classy, which makes my nails look a little bit dead. Then these ones are from a Sex and the City palette. I used to really um, love the Charlotte shade, but it's kind of gone a little bit horrible now. I need to kind of give it a shake or try and revive it somehow. But I did like those. I've just got a random little glitter here from Glossy Box from Deborah Lippmann. Um, some more um, of the Maybelline Coloramas. Some other Maybellines. These are the mini, I don't, NY. I don't know what these ones are. MNY they're called but they never come with shades these ones then here I've got just a random selection I've got some OPI this is Elephantastic Pink um, some Sally Hansen some of the um, complete salon manicure I love these this one's bandage this one is iron this one is called first kiss then this one is blue rose this is really nice this one's called Runway Red. It's just kind of a nice classic red shade. And then Grey on Grey, which is a kind of nice pale bluey grey shade. So they're all my Sally Hansons. Then here I've just got a random selection. I won't even go through these ones because they're just weird brands that I'm not sure um, who got me those. These are a couple of the MUA ones. I don't love these. Some of the number seven ones that are really nice. This one's in um, Totally Teal. Then this one I love. It's one of these sinful colour ones in Timbleberry. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I'm wearing, as I said, um, mint can not mint candy apple. Cute as a button on my nails today, but I love, 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 love that shade. It's beautiful. Then I've just got a couple of the MUA One Direction ones. These I like. They last really well. This is the Harry one. Um, then over here, right, right, right at the back. The camera's not going to focus, but I've just got some um, me, me, me ones some Ciate polishes and the uh, couple of Topshop ones as well. I really like Topshop nail polishes. I need to buy some more of these. So that's kind of the general gist of it. Down the side I store the kind of random, so the kind of no-name brands and things that are not, um, that I don't have tons of basically. That's a Barry M glitter actually that doesn't live there. That should go with the Barry M's. And then also I've got It's the kind of top 10 OPI polishes. So you've got Alpen Snow, Bubble Bath, Tickle My Francy, Kiss Me on the Tulips, Red Lights the Head Wear, Big Apple Red, I'm Not Really a Waitress, that's my favourite, You Don't Know Jacks, Amsterdam, and Lincoln Park After Dark. So I keep that there as well. I should probably depot, not depot them, but get them out of the package, but I love how it looks. But this is how I store them anyway. I'm using glossy box lids to kind of um, separate them and stop them from moving around that much, but I do need to find a good storage solution. I just don't necessarily want them all out in my bedroom because I think it might start to just look a little bit too much like my dressing room. It's taken over how much makeup I've got in here anyway, and I don't want to kind of make it worse. So that is my in well inclusive my huge ridiculously overstuffed nail polish collection and this is after i've spent all day today narrowing it down and i've got a bag downstairs of about 30 polishes that i'm going to give to my next door neighbor's daughter but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what your favorite favorite nail polishes are and um if you want me to do like a kind of essie collection with swatches on the nails or that kind of thing then maybe let me know and i will see you in my next video bye